In this video, we will discuss about the condylomas of the vulva. So, condylomas are the vitellions of the vulva. Mm -hmm. You know, vulva is the dead part of female reproductive tract that is externally visible. And vitellion means skin colored bumps that appear on the surface of skin. Now, these condylomas of the vulva can be categorized into condyloma lata and condyloma acuminata. Condyloma lata are flat lions and they are seen in secondary syphilis. So, remember, condyloma lata are flat. In contrast, condyloma acuminata may be flat with rugosities, so they may be flat appearing lions and they have certain rough projections on it or they may be elevated above the surface of skin. So remember this important difference between condyloma lata and condyloma acuminata. Condyloma lata are always flat while condyloma acuminata may have rugosities or they may be elevated. And as compared to condyloma lata which is seen in secondary syphilis, Condyloma acuminata is seen in human papilloma virus infection. So remember this slide that is important from MCQ's point of view. And we will discuss in detail about this condyloma acuminata. So condyloma acuminata is caused by human papilloma virus and as this organism is a sexually transmitted organism, so condyloma acuminata is a sexually transmitted disease. Secondly, this condyloma acuminata is caused by those strains of HPV that are low risk. These are HPV 6 and HPV 11. Remember that HPV 16 and HPV 18 are considered high risk and they usually result in neoplasia rather than condylomas. But these low risk variants of human papilloma virus that are human papilloma virus 6 and 11, they do not result in neoplasia, they result in condyloma acuminata. Now the important point of this slide is this microscopic features of condyloma acuminata. So remember whenever a cell is infected by human papilloma virus, the cytological change is known as coelocytosis. So what is coelocytosis? Coelocytosis is the cytological abnormality that develops in those cells that are infected with human papilloma virus. And this coelocytosis is characterized by these three features. First important point is perinuclear cytoplasmic vacuolization that appear as halo around the nucleus. You can see in this small diagram that outside the nucleus there is a clear zone. This clear zone is due to vacuoles and this perinuclear cytoplasmic vacuoles appear as a halo around the nucleus. The second important feature about the coelocytosis is irregular nuclear contour. You can see that in this diagram that the borders of the nucleus are not regular. So irregular nuclear contour is a part of coelocytosis. And the third feature of coelocytosis is large nucleus as compared to the normal. You can see the cell in the diagram is has a slightly larger nucleus. So these three features collectively make the change of coelocytosis and this coelocytosis is a hallmark of condyloma caused by human papilloma virus. Remember these three points, perinuclear cytoplasmic vacuolization, irregular nuclear contour and large nucleus. So these are all about condylomas.